Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be trying to represent a particular family that is the family of Fabaceae with the floral formula. We have introduced ourselves to the floral formula and the various symbols and the signs which can be used in the floral formula. Now let us learn how to represent those symbols and use them to represent this family known as the Fabaceae family. So the floral formula is represented by this. Here are the characteristics of this family. We are now going to try to relate these characteristics with the representation in the floral formula. First of all, let's see the inflorescence. This is racemose inflorescence. Now here the sign is person sign. Now we know this person sign represents the zygomorphic type of structure. So here see the flower is zygomorphic which means they are bilaterally symmetrical. These flowers they can be divided into two equal halves only on one plane. Hence, this is represented as this percent sign. The flowers are bisexual, that means a single flower has got both the male and the female reproductive structures. Hence, this symbol, which is the symbol of being bisexual. So, the flowers are bisexual and zygomorphic, it has been represented here. Now, let's see this K. K means we know calyx, which is the sepals. Now, let's see over here. The calyx here, there are five such sepals. We see the number five as subscript. So the number is represented always written in the subscript form. Now we know when it is represented within a bracket, it means that they are fused or they are united. So this means K super subscript 5 in the brackets means that the 5 sepals are there which are in the fused form. So see the sepals are 5, they are gamosepalous means fused and they are follow a astivation form which is imbricate or the valvate. They can be imbricate or the valvate astivation form. Now let's see the corolla, right? So here the corolla, it's 5, 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is 5 corolla, that is 5 petals. Now the, let's see how the form it is present. First, one single, that is the standard petal, which is the largest one, it is present singly. Then we have the next two petals, which are the known as the wings, right? And then we have the later two, the smaller two corolla, that is smaller two petals, they are in the fused form, hence they are represented in the brackets, right? So here, they are polypetalous, the papillinaceous consists of a posterior standard, then two lateral wings, as we have discussed here, two lateral wings, which one forms a keel and the, they follow a vexillary astivation. So last two, they are fused. Now let's talk about the androecium or the male reproductive part. Androecium is represented by A. Now we see this 9 plus 1, that means 10 stamens. So how they will be represented? 10, they are diadal first, which means see 9, they are in the fused form, plus 1, that means there is presence of two bundles, hence they are diadal first. So here 9 of them, they are in the fused form and 1 is in the free form. So their anther is diathecus and they are diadal first in form. Let's talk about the gynecium, which is the female reproductive structure. G and there is a dash below the G. So which means the superior, the ovary is superior over here and one means only one presence of only one single ovary. Ovary is superior, monocarpillary, right? Unilocular with many ovules, style is single. So one, one ovary which is in superior form. The characteristics of fruit here is the legume, they are leguminous. The seeds, they can be one to many and most importantly, they are non-endospermic. So in this video, we have seen how to represent through floral formula, the family of Fabaceae. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.